Hello, Marcy, it's Granddad. Yes, tomorrow will be fine. Just let me know what time you want to meet me. Thank you for coming back. Then the fourth self is down, yeah. Love you. <laughs> and I'll be 77 tomorrow. I was born in this house on the 29th of December, 1943. Well, I say that because I worked on Portland nearly all my life, so I didn't need to go anywhere else. I was a, a slinger, so I took all the engines, whatever had to come out of the ship, I had to get it out. I get up, usually I get up early, between half past six, seven o'clock. I'll have me breakfast, do a couple of chores, put a wash on, and then I'll get showered up. Of course, before the pandemic, I'd be out for a walk, an hour or two a day, sometimes more. Hiya, Mike. Right. You're right. Come home, have lunch, and just go for a little walk around, and then this. Wait for Nan to come home from work. The first time we met, I think, was down the beach in many 20 plus 25 years ago. Or more than that, actually, I think. Because when I met her again, actually, it was in 1994 at the Chapelie Tavern. And then I'd just come back from the hospital. I had some metal at me eye, Dr. Strauss Bill, so I called him to the chapel to ask something to eat, and there she was. I love the island because I used to love swimming, spent hours and hours each day down the beach. From when I was very young, most of my memories was down the beach, swimming with the lads, I used to spend maybe eight, ten hours some days down there, especially in the school holidays. In them days, we seemed to have much more sun. The weather was last for months, lovely, from April to September. We'd be down the beach every year, and for swims. And so we could spend so much time down there. And then on a Sunday evening, we used to leave there and go to the Regal for the films. My first job was in, on the 5th of January, 1959, and I worked in the quarries. Well, we, we took the stone out from the ground, we had to remove all the, the stone above it, the, the stone you couldn't use, and the rubble. And it was, stayed there until 66 when the quarry became redundant. We thought we was gonna be there for life. club and my father was the steward and of course I used to go and sit on their table and they had a daughter called Carolyn, Carol Holland her name was. Ken, 
and Linda and his wife Sonia. I'm just thinking that's when we went. I think it's when we went to my brother Brian's funeral. I think that was afterwards. I think somewhere the picture taken because we were all dressed in dark, weren't we? Black. I've got two brothers and one sister, all who've now passed on. At one stage, there was me, two brothers, because my sister, I think she was a few years older than me, so she'd probably moved out by then. Me and my two brothers, mum and dad, that was five. And then one, and later, we had one of our aunties who used to live in the, the room here, because there used to be a passageway up through here. And that was, and the door used to go out into that room, and the door would go into this room. And they had this room as a bedroom. It'd be 77 years tomorrow in this house. What part of the house were you born in? Down there, I think. There used to be a little, well, in the war, they used to give her like an Anderson shelter. And I was born in there. I remember when you was born, I remember, well, except for James, because obviously James was three years old when I seen James first and Lucas, because one of you was born in Weymouth and a certain other person was born in Paul Hospital. Me and Anna went up in the car when he was being born. She held you in your arms. <laughs> How old was your mum when she passed on? 86. Some lovely cakes. Yeah, seems a good cook like a man. That's another little cheeky one when I was about eight or nine years old at school. <laughs> Went to somebody's wedding and was chatting to one of the girls what was there. <laughs> she was a lot older than me, this one was, <laughs> years older. Went to somebody's wedding. I've never left the island because I've never wanted to. <laughs> I, I, I love the island, so I'd have to find somewhere that's even better, and I'd have to stay somewhere that so long to find out if it was better. <laughs> <laughs> I could say to you, uh, once you got to the island, you walked around, see all the beauty spots, you'd never want to leave it again.